Hello and welcome to Let's Talk. My name is George Kingsnorth and my guest today is Wayne Denner, who is the technology entrepreneur. And in this episode, we're looking at getting back to basics in communication skills. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. I find that's quite interesting is that um, one of the reasons why I started doing the interviews was because I wanted to have more and more face time with people and actually having conversations and the art of listening is also part of it and when do you jump into a conversation and when don't you you know there are certain cues that are there a lot of youngsters that especially when you're teaching uh, they now want to just dive straight in and they have to they, they're so instant they want your attention there and then so the human skills, I think, are really, really important. And the technology, even the stuff that we're using today, it, it'll change. I, I've, I've actually started using my mobile phones with a little gimbal and with a little microphone. And that's been producing adequate videos. So the thing then is, is forget about the technology. Start to, because it's easy to learn. The, the communication skills, I think, are the key things. Um, no, I was on a little course over the weekend where we were looking at... Um, uh, setting parameters um, so basically you had time you, you had a task to do you had a time constraint and you had to know the territory that you were working as in how, how far were the boundaries and I know that from teaching um, the first thing the students want to know is where are the boundaries how far can they go before you <laughs> say no <laughs> how important is that within the work that you're doing I think boundaries are really really important and I think boundaries are very important in all aspects of life a lot of the work that I do is with parents as well and educating parents about technology in the home and making sure as a mum and dad that you have boundaries in place so that, the, you know, again, it's back to my own example there, that the phone's not been used in the bedroom at night and we should have technology-free bedrooms and, you know, leave the phone downstairs and have that time to disconnect and recharge because at the end of the day, your brain needs to recharge. It needs to, you know, power down and it's a bit like, I, I look at my brain as like the computer and I have a computer and sometimes it gets really slow and I need to turn it off and reboot it and that's a bit like me. Sometimes I need to go and lie down in the afternoon because my CP usage or CP usage or my memory or my RAM or whatever you want to call it is kind of all clogged up with everything that's going on in life and social media has fueled a lot of that as well because there's a lot of distractions and a lot of noise and young people are an incredible amount of pressure and this is something that's impacting education and when I look back whenever I was learning in school there was no technology whenever I went to class I listened to the teacher there was no other real distractions going on apart from somebody maybe throwing a piece of paper from the back of the class or that type of you know uh, stuff that went on there wasn't these technologies that we now have today so the boundaries have become very very important and you know they're not set though a lot of the times so there are very few boundaries in place and I think we're starting to see this a little bit of this now coming into the classroom where young people are they're distracted because they live in a different time than maybe I grew up in or you grew up in where we didn't have those distractions and they're constantly you know notifications vibrating in the pocket or the ping notification coming through that message and they're waiting for that and it's almost that fear of missing out where it's back to that you know we need to remove maybe some of the technology in a sense because maybe young people are being coming over stimulated and maybe we as a you know, a human race are becoming very, very overstimulated and that we are setting the boundaries ourselves, and we're trying to self-regulate and remembering that we control the technology, not the other way around, and that we set those boundaries that are applicable and, uh, you know, appropriate for ourselves on a regular basis. As we're talking, I'm thinking about how AI is sort of coming in and uh, we're being almost turned into robots and the interfaces, but there is there is this need to to move away what what sort of physical activities are you encouraging the students to to get into away from their technology take time offline is one of my sayings that i use in my workshops you know take time offline remember those four t's it's very very important to disconnect take time offline to build those you know personal relationships with people to build those one-to-ones to go and have a coffee to go outside and play football to keep your sports up you know yes look i'm a big technology guy the technology is 
wonderful. It's so useful. But use it to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. And look for ways that if, you be, if you've got a particular talent or a skill set in a certain area, think of how you can use the technology to leverage that skill and also use it then to reach other people so that people around the world know about the great skills that you have. So people are reaching out to you and they want to work with you. And, and I've been very, very lucky that I've been able to use the technology in that way for different aspects in, in, in amazing parts of the world to get to travel to, to, to different countries and to deliver talks and to deliver workshops and also to meet new people, but meet people face to face. Use the technology to get the initial or the introduction and then take the conversation offline. Arrange a coffee, arrange a meeting, go to Belfast, go to Dublin on the train, and go and meet that person that you met off on, online. So I think that's very, very important in using the technology in that way to build the initial relationship through a period of conversations or a series of conversations, and then take that conversation offline. Go and meet that person in the real world, and then develop that real meaningful relationship with them. And I think that's really, really important. So I think we have to, as parents, and I'm a parent myself of two young children, we have to be encouraging them to take time offline, go outside, play with their friends, play sports. But we also have to be helping them develop those skills as well, you know, by encouraging them to get into music or to get into sports or to get into nature, wildlife, art, design, crafts, whatever it is. And then trying to find ways that we can use the technology to help with the learning as well. And that's something that we can do as well. We can introduce that technology to them as well as a plus, as a benefit. We have more on the way, so please subscribe to this channel and check out the link below if you consider becoming a patron to help us keep making more content. Thanks for watching.